Blog Talk Radio. I'm going to show you what a radio show is like. Everybody, welcome to Reptile Radio. I apologize ahead of time for like a little background noise here. I have a mega big birthday party for a nine-year-old. It's going on in the background, and I'm gonna get uh, some of these little girls. I put them on the air here shortly, so <laughs> they're they're a little excited. Uh, anyway, we got a we got a great show for you guys lined up. I'll be locked in the snake room here soonly, so there won't be any uh, any background noise. But Greg Graziani's gonna be on. He's gonna be talking about reptile genetics, and uh, we are gonna get some insight on him on a couple of cool hatchlings he just hatched out, and how his breeding season is going, and such and so forth. But we're rocking and rolling tonight. BT, what's happening, brother? What's going on, man? Sounds like you got your hands full. Oh man, it's a suicide mission over here, Kamikaze. Uh, well, I got ten nine-year-old girls in the house, so <laughs> it's absolutely just insane. But uh, it's all good, and I got, man, I got some, uh, I got some good stuff to go through with Greg. And if anybody wants to participate in the program tonight, we, uh, we, 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 you know, we really appreciate all participation. So you can either call into the program line, you can send emails in at reptileradioinbox.com. You can participate in one of two chat sessions that's going on all throughout the program. One is uh, blogtalkradio.com slash reptile radio right there. Another is over in the uh, Bush League Breeders Club. What's happening to everybody over in the, the BLBC? And you've got a pretty good group over there already. I'm telling you, if you're into chatting, that's the place to be come Saturday night because it, get, it really does get packed in there. So uh, you got to be a registered member. only downside. you got to have one post as well because I got a lot of people that sign up and they're like, man, eh, it still doesn't work. you got to have one post as well. But give us a call in tonight, 347-215-8611. BT, you got any news to roll out there this evening? i tell you what, you know, speaking of, uh, you know, we got Greg on tonight, but uh, Greg posted some updated pictures of his cinnamon clowns out of the egg and uh, over on King Snake Ball Python Forum, and i tell you what, man, they're smoking hot. Have you seen them? Oh, yeah, man, they're, they're awesome, man. That's what uh, I definitely wanted to hit on. And talk to Greg about that too. So uh, we'll get his insight here in a little bit. But man, because I know that uh, you know he had some predictions on how that animal was going to turn out. So that'll that'll be interesting to hear. Yeah, it's awesome, man. It is really I mean, wicked looking head on it too. You know. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I, it, uh, there's no more uh, you know pattern on the head. Yeah. It's yeah, man. Cool stuff. All right. Before we move on to the next news and uh, we start getting, you know getting on to the big dance tonight, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these young ladies on real quick here, real quick. Hold on. Stand by for just a second. All right, everybody. Everybody, say hello to the world. Everybody, say I love reptile radio. I had you heard it there. It's a madhouse. What do you think about that, PT? I feel for you, man. I tell you, it is a madhouse over. <laughs> well, I'm going to disappear for just a second while we go through a few more things in the news. I stand out here, man, and uh, nobody will ever tune in again. All right, man. Uh, a couple of things that, you know, come my mind. I know that it caught your eyes well. Uh, well, first, one was over in, uh, over was on our board. The BLBC was a really cool, uh, wicked super strike boa that uh, Conley Herbst post. If you ever uh, if you got a chance to go over and check that out, make sure you do because uh, man, it's really cool strike boa, super strike. Man, it's a it's a wicked animal. So Hi. if you're uh, you're bouncing around, have you have you checked it out yet? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Definitely cool. Yeah, stuff. man, it is. Hey, what, what in the world is a super strike boa? I've never even heard the term with boas before. You're asking the wrong person if you're asking me. I guess it's just more of a, you know, in a extreme stripe. Oh, um, maybe, uh, maybe somebody can chime in over in the chat room. I'm not in front of it now, so uh, you'll have to, you'll have to. Are you over in the chat now, 2BT? 
No, I'm, I'm sitting over here. I'm I'm going to talk about this ghost litter over here by uh, Mario Calvin posted over on uh, on King Snake. Man, did you see that? Oh yeah, man, that was really cool. That, that one that one uh, bowl came out two heads. Yeah, that is, that is weird, man. I know you know two headed animals, but really, yeah, are really just exceptionally rare too, aren't they? It didn't it didn't survive though, did it? No, no, it sure didn't. But uh, he posted a picture of it, and it's. I don't know. I know me and you talked about it a little bit earlier, but uh, it doesn't really have the the two necks. It's just one big triangle, you know, like noses. Yeah, things. it had like had two big noses, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's weird. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, what else did he get out of that out of that litter? Oh, let me see here. To read the whole thing. He doesn't say. It shows just a big pile of babies with the the, the one, you know, the two headed. And he did say he got uh, got no slugs. So good looking letter. Oh, that's, yeah, well, cool deal. Congratulations on that. Too bad the old two headed baby didn't live. That'd been kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, I want to give a give a shout out to the old boy over at. Uh, Saloon Reptiles over on BP.net. So he had his first clutch actually, uh, you know, started to hatch out. Pastel to normal. 12 egger though. You know, 12 packs, always uh, nice. nice. He ended up, yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Well, the, 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 even nicer than that, you can see hit on uh, 10 pastels and only two normals. And that's not... Wow. Don't get used to them odds. <laughs> you know, it's a yeah, good one, though. Nice. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> that's, that's sweet. Yeah, and uh, what else did I wanted to? Uh, oh man, it's a really cool thread. It's you know, tis the that tis the season. It really is that time of year. Over uh, on the uh, field herping forum, really cool thread right up at top. It's uh, it's titled North Florida Spring. You know, I guess you know, obviously springtime in North Florida. But you know, it's a really cool field herping thread with a bunch of pictures and everything. It's actually posted by. See if I can uh, say this without butchering it too bad. A Telopus. Yeah, sounds right. Flows just perfect. That must be it. <laughs> anyway, man, it's a really, uh, really cool three. It looks like I mean, old boy really, really uh, got some cool finds. A striped Appalachia King and uh, Scarlet Kings. Like, oh, it's really yeah, that's cool. Scarlet Kings are really cool, you know. And I know yeah, that I know that you know from digging around in Florida myself that you don't come by those Scarlet Kings every day too. So, a bunch of really cool uh, cotton mouse and things like that. But just a really well. Uh, real well-rounded uh, thread with a bunch of bunch of really cool animals. And the only thing I didn't like is, and he uses all them scientific terms in every one of the pictures. And I, I had to go through, break out the old dictionary <laughs> to find out what 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 was what. You know? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'm, mean, you know, as much as I love the animals, I'm still I'm all about the layman's terms. You know, the oh, bush yeah. league's terms. You know, <laughs> I don't yeah. think I've ever spotted anybody over in the bush league saying you know. With some scientific name thrown out there, you know? No, no. I can recognize them if I read them, but you'll never get me to try to pronounce them. There's no way. <laughs> uh, anything else catch your eye? No, that's really about it, man. Uh, just doing the same old thing here. Well, how's your uh, how's your breeding turn out? Yeah, it's turned out good. Had a couple more ovulations. Uh, I'm still got a few males that I'm pairing up with girls. Um, Got a couple of wama python clutches due to hatch here in about a week, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I should have some ball python clutches here probably about a week or so, and uh, see what happens. Yeah, I've got about I've got five clutches that I've been waiting on for a while now, and they were cooled down pretty good, so I know the you know the wait's going to go on for a little bit more. But it's a pretty good stuff though, you know, some more of the you know queen bee stuff. And, uh, you know, my, my mega clutch for the year is the, uh, head lavender to, you know, spider head lavender. So, so, yeah. you know, it's, uh, yeah. about the best, that's the best I'm gonna do, but, uh, yeah, yeah some, no. some exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've still got probably about five that are, are pretty exciting clutches to me anyway that are right on the urge of ovulation.